following broadcast is an official production of the Faulkner Sports Network. Okay. All right. He's alone, eh? There we go. Yeah, Backwards go. go. Nice. 
kicks it out, gets demoed right there, but wow. still makes the shot. Oh. I'm aboard the lane train. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> the lane train. The lane train. Ooh. Virginia going hard for the goal. Ooh, oh. really good save. Excellent save. Watch this. Here Perfect he goes. Maneuver. Just, he just, just kind of flips over and then gets the demo and knocks in the goal. Oh, just <laughs> Lane with the demo. Him. Lane actually makes the shot here. And then Cameron is just like running interference, takes him out, and then just sort of escorts the ball into the goal. Like, all right, so Faulkner off to a hot start here against the Simpson Storm. Wow. Very pretty goal right there. Oh, beautiful. And Cameron going straight Go it, for Cameron. the goal. Sploosh! We have a Brazil here, folks. That's it. There it is. Faulkner is the champion of this region. Wow. Excellent. this here for our production of Rocket League. We do have Rocket League for you tonight, and it's going to be us against Kirkwood Community College. So Eagles versus Eagles uh, to determine who are the best Eagles, and hopefully we'll be seeing a lot of aerial maneuvers tonight yeah. in that game. So I am Caleb Colquitt. And I'm Joshua Chalchi. And we're going to be bringing you all the action for this evening. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get that to you here in just a second. But before we do that, let's go ahead and meet some of the members of our team. The captain, Super Dish, Brendan Dishman. Corn Pop, Cole Armstrong. And, uh, of course, we have Kayla as well. <laughs> so she's in there, and she's loving every minute of it. Uh, she's supposed to have her video actually done tomorrow, so we will be able to have those to you tomorrow, um, next week, hopefully, uh, if all that works out. And then, of course, you've got the uh, the ham of the group over there in the corner, Captain Brandon Dishman. Uh, Embodying the eagle, as he Yes, was. he's he really takes the mascot seriously, and uh, he, he prefers to soar like an eagle himself. Uh, and then on the other side, we've got Ian, who is laughing so hard at Dish's antics <laughs> that he has covered his face. But he's a man after my own heart because I always see him, like like you, always wearing a baseball cap. So uh, Ian over there, the lieutenant, and his uh, video hopefully is going to be made tomorrow as well. So we'll be able to bring those to you. And then, of course, the man, the myth, the legend, Corn Pop, also captain of the Counter-Strike team. But tonight it's all about the Rocket League. So he's here with us as well over at his computer. And uh, before we do get into the action, do want to mention just a couple of things to you. First of all, we got to talk to you about one of our fantastic sponsors, Shane's Rib Shack. Oh, yeah. And uh, Josh, have you eaten at Shane's Rib Shack? Unfortunately, not yet. But I'm hoping to change that real soon. We got to go to lunch tomorrow. I'd be down for you, that. You free tomorrow? I have no clue, but we'll find out. <laughs> well, I appreciate the attitude. Uh, but no, we'll we'll head over to Shane's Rib Shack. And uh, if you're a barbecue guy, like they got any kind of barbecue you want. You want ribs, they got ribs. You like barbecue pork, they got that. They got brisket, they got chicken. Like any form of barbecue you want, they definitely have uh, that available for you. So be sure to check out Shane's Rib Shack. And if you go ahead and download their app, Shane's, uh, the Shane's Rib Shack app, you actually get a free barbecue sandwich uh, for that so just be sure to do that make sure to check that out and remember that they're located just down the street about a mile from campus on atlanta highway so be sure to check them out as well so let's go ahead and jump into the action oh yeah looks like they've already gotten started oh I, I, yeah actually we're behind by about uh 10 seconds but already uh goal scored for kirkwood able to just slip it past dish there um you can see kayla actually going back to get boost and then dish trying to uh, get there, but was not able to get there in time. All right, looks like we're going to have a fresh new start here. The ball gets served up. Very good coordination from both teams, I can see. Yeah, definitely. Super just trying to get a, a little bit of a spike here. Zink Roo is trying to make us play, but is unable to and kind of loses control of the ball a little bit. Yeah, Super Dish there. Good job on him trying to keep the ball over in enemy territory. Yeah. Zink Roo trying to push it back into enemy territory. Succeeds, but let's see if they can uh, benefit off of it. 
Yeah, Dish, uh, I, I know that you wouldn't be privy to this, Josh, but I was listening to Dish talk earlier. Um, some of the things that they've been talking about in practice, Dish has decided that he likes some of the longer body cars, and so you're going to see him playing Dominus and some of the other models that are a little bit longer than the Octane, which is normally what you see him Ooh. play with. Oh, oh, oh man, Zeke close. going hard for the goal and makes a shot on goal, but unfortunately uh, is not quite there. And that is uh, also a demo on Super Dish. Yes. Looks like the both teams are pretty well balanced. But Oh, wow. And again, uh, Super Dish was on back post, but this team has been really good about getting around the defenses. So oh, yeah. watch this. So Livey just able to pop it up, and then Super Dish tries to get there in time. Almost makes it, too. Yeah, he. well, I don't know that he would have been able to knock it out even if he'd been a little bit earlier. But, yeah, he was definitely not far from the ball when the goal hit. Because right, Karoo is trying to get a really nice spike here and set up. All right, nice Ooh. aerial by him, a good dribble, but unfortunately this it gets a stolen like their demos, though. Yeah, I've noticed that. Ooh, very close. Man, what a save by Zink. All right, looks like uh, RL Nero is trying to make some plays over here. Yeah, we had a little bit of a double commit there. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite him. It looks like they were able to recover from it pretty quickly. Right there, you could see them try to go for another um demo but unfortunately not able to get it this team is hungry for and dish gets a goal yeah dish is going crazy now Let's score one for the eagles heck yeah i wonder if the other team actually got a little too focused on the demo and left themselves wide open because you saw there was nobody guarding goal there and dish didn't do anything fancy there just makes a clean right down the middle shot but there was nobody there to defend yeah over aggression that's the problem with an overly aggressive strategy is it can leave you open all right, and it looks like they're trying to set it back up, um, but it gets blocked by Super Dish and returned to Cinder, um, but that puts right back into Faulkner territory, almost making a score. So that was a smart move by Zink. Uh, the instinct of a lot of Rocket League players is to just move the ball as far away from the goal as possible. But sometimes when you're in a situation where you got it at a bad angle like that, he thought that it was the smarter thing to actually shoot it towards the goal, but at an angle that he knew it wouldn't possibly go in, which repels it back off. So sometimes it's somewhat counterintuitive, but that's the best defense. Yeah. One of the things I have been seeing in this game a little bit more is they might be doing this strategically, but I've seen them kind of get really close together, and that might just be so they can um, have a better defense or maybe even a better offense. Um, but it's a very interesting tactic. You know, uh, it's funny. This is a little off topic, but the fact that they have a guy named Nero, uh, when you know that one of our alternate Rocket League players is Viva Caligula, so uh, apparently Roman Emperor is a very popular username here. Uh-oh, this could be trouble, but Zink... Oh, Ooh. man, Zink misread that just not by much, but just enough that he was able to... Uh, is that a, a Abishu? Uh, was able to slip it in. So you see Zink was just a little ahead of the ball. If he had waited maybe even, a, a you know, four-tenths of a second later, he would have been in the right spot to block it, but unfortunately he wasn't. Yeah. And there you go again, trying to put it back in their territory, and they are able to get kind of close to their goal. Let's see if they can kind of benefit. It's a setup, and there is Whoa. Super is coming in with a clutch goal. Also, and let's l talk about this. Look at Kayla's setup here. Shoots it right over there. Nero pushes it out, and then Super Dish just sees an opportunity and takes it. Oh yeah, very beautiful um, wheel work from from Dish. All right, pushes it onto Faulkner's side. Faulkner returning it back to Cinder. Abyssa doing some kind of aerial here. Super is right on him, trying to keep keep him under under wraps. Oh, unfortunately, I. IV key is just on top. I think it's uh that's actually an L, so that's level key. Level key, okay. Gotcha. All right, I think that's what it's supposed to stand for. Sounds good to me. <laughs> we can just go with key. Sure. Keep keep things simple. Right, so we are down by two, but we still have plenty of time on the clock. We can definitely make a comeback here. Yeah, this has been a very high scoring game. Uh, I mean, it's definitely not the highest scoring we've ever seen, but compared to a lot of our games that end up like with the just three or four goals total already being at six goals when you combine the scores yeah pretty big deal especially with over a minute left all right it looks like i'm guessing this is kayla right here yeah this trying is to make it a, a way to get it onto the their side was they're just playing a really defensive um style here yeah, I think they've actually shifted their strategy because they were very aggressive in the early game, and now they've, they've no hunkered down some, which, I mean, makes sense. When you're ahead, you tend to do that. 
Uh oh, oh not no good. Unfortunately, knocks off um, Dish from the defending, I believe. Yeah, so Abishu goes here, and he's pushing it in front of the goal. And unfortunately, they I think they read that bounce wrong, and because of that, they overshot it, and then Nero's able to go in and make the goal. I do believe Dish blocked the first shot, but it left the goal wide open after he blocked it. Yeah, it appears so. All right, sending it back to, to Kirkwood's side. And a good shot by Caleb, but a good save by Nero, unfortunately, means that Faulkner gets no points off of that one. Yep. 30 seconds left on the clock. Well, here we go. They're going to make a shot, and looks like Zink's going to still control. Going to try to keep the ball over on their territory, and Faulkner kind of forced to play a more aggressive style here because with such little time left and such a big deficit, they've got to. Yeah. And a blocked goal right there. Zink going to kick it out, but it looks like this score is probably going to end up being as it is now. Yeah. And that's going to be it. That That is going to result in a 5-3 loss for the Eagles, but it's a best of five. It's Rocket League. T still a lot of game to play. Oh, yeah. So uh, Faulkner can come back and win the next three and then make it a, a pretty easy win. That's the thing I'm, I'm noticing about this team. Uh, they're not as polished as some of the other teams that we've seen. And uh, they seem to switch from hyper-aggressive to hyper-defensive, but they don't seem to have a lot of game in between that. So if we can just kind of play off of them and maybe get ahead in the next set and then just kind of hold that lead, I think that that would be a good strategy to adopt. Yeah, these teams are very evenly matched. It's just that I, I, I feel like there were some situations where they kind of got a little bit unlucky in that game. A couple, for sure. Um some of it was just uh, some mistakes, like you saw a couple double commits there where you had two of the players that were in one spot and that kind of left the goal open. Uh, but the truth is you saw some of that on the other team as well because uh, there were a couple times where they were playing that hyper-aggressive where uh, I think one Dish and one Ian just saw an open open field there and were able to rush straight to the goal. So, All right, also we're in game two. Uh, Kirkwood on the defensive already. Yeah, Key was a very pretty air dribble, but only able to get it to half court before he runs out of boost. Ooh, near almost getting goal right there, but it was stopped by, uh, I don't know who it was, but very quickly. <laughs> yep. All right, pass over to Key. It looks like both teams playing it a little slower this round. Yeah. Just trying to find like an upward momentum push right on it, honestly. Super dish with a setup. Ooh. Taken back out by, I do believe that was key. Yeah, Kayla not able to do much with it off of the roof there, unfortunately. Uh, but is able to be a presence to deter a goal, but unfortunately they kept the pressure up and it wound up eventually working. Because you saw like about four shots on goal there in a very short amount of time and eventually one of them just landed. Yeah. So Zink, um, he did get a touch but he got a touch at a bad angle yeah. to where his touch actually might have even helped it go in. Yeah, maybe maybe so. I think it probably would have gone in either way just based on the trajectory, but, you know, yeah. um, he was trying to defend it with his whole car and unfortunately only got a tire on it. I think. Yeah, definitely put the ball in a favorable position for Faulkner, but unfortunately they kick it out. Oh, Ooh. and another one. Very good angle on that shot, too. As you can see here, they pushed it at a very, very yeah, so, sharp angle. Yeah, so there's Keys set up, and then Abishu's just there, and there's nobody guarding back post. Push it in the direction of the momentum, which means that it would just kind of be harder to reach. Mm -hmm. That's also true. It looks like um, Key is making her way, his way? I have no clue. Um, around the center of the field, um, they make a shot and goal, or a set of even. This is, this is the opportunity. Uh, goal is open. Dish steals it. Yeah, Dish going to be pushing for the other side now. Oh, Kayla is able to get a nice touch. Sends it back up away from the goal. And that's Ooh. going to be another one by Nero. I think that was a, a small error on, on communication right there because you see like three people going for it at once right there. Yeah, and uh, Zinc actually made a mistake there sometimes it's better to go for the ball and sometimes better to go for the ball handler and there i think his idea was i'm going to go for the ball handler but unfortunately should have gone for the ball because of the angle there yeah all right back on on their side again 
And Super Dish is probably going to send it back. Yeah, sends it at a weird angle right down the middle. Oh, yeah. Is he able to get a setup, maybe? Yeah, he was able to get a touch, but unfortunately, control was taken away from him. Oh. Oh, man, what a shot. Unfortunately, there's a demo and uh, doesn't wind up going favorably for the Blue Eagles. <laughs> well, I guess Kirkwood's the Blue Eagles, too, so Faulkner. A demolition. Uh, the Super just able to get a demo on Abyss. He able to make a, a save. Dish is coming back out. Gets it stolen, though. Zinc trying to set up, but... Ooh. Yeah, Zinc just misses that one, unfortunately. All right, and Nero tries to push it, um, get a setup, but unable to. Yeah, Key is able to take possession away and now looking to push it back towards our side, and of course it does. All right, Zinc kind of coming in. Oh, there it and is. Very beautiful air dribbling on Zinc's half right there. Yeah, gorgeous aerial goal here. Watch, sets up his own shot and then just pushes it in with a little bit of boost, just sort of uses the nose of his car to guide it right into the goal. That car fly. Uh-huh. Soar Eagles. <laughs> <laughs> That's facts, coach. That's facts. That's why they pay me the big bucks. <laughs> Just say right. Soar Eagles a lot. All right. <laughs> I have a shoe. Nero coming in, trying to push it back. And actually, successfully um, pushes it past um, one of their players. Yeah, but Zinx, they're able to uh, get control back. So this ball has been at half court basically this entire set. Yep. Dish able to push it further into into Kirkwood territory, but Kirkwood able to put it right back out. Yeah, it Zink seems like we're able to make back some territory when we're in the air, but we're not able to maintain the momentum long enough to get it Ooh, really close to the goal. Super Dish with attempt on a demo. Yeah, unfortunately, misses it. Demo. And Key is going to be right there. Oh, Ooh. my gosh, what a save. Zinc couldn't even clutch. Uh-huh. Leaping their field almost practically empty. Ooh. Well, it was just one defender. That's just enough. Ziggaru kind of going back in. Uh, I thought I was going to see another aerial goal right there. Yeah, it looked like it for a second. All right, key coming in from the left. Looks like a bunch of juke outs right there. They juked the juke. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Pulled the old Uno reverse card on him. Key gets a demo on Zinc, unfortunately, leaving the goal a little bit more further open. Oh, and Dish with the big save. Ooh, there it is. Let's go, Dish. Look at Dish. Save and then immediately takes the ball away and puts it in the other team's goal. Save right there. Oh. Ball goes down. Oh, there it is. It won't, I think it got hit by their own player. Oh, did it really? I think so. I missed that. All right, looks like we just need one more score to even it up. Yeah, Faulkner definitely within striking distance here. Uh, it looks like with 50 seconds left, a one goal lead is not insurmountable by any stretch of the imagination. Kirkwood might just try and play it as slow as they can just so they can take this set. Honestly, if I were them, that's exactly what I would do. I wouldn't be hyper aggressive trying to score a, uh, an insurance goal, especially considering the way the last round went. I would just kind of play it cool, hang back, try to make sure they, they don't score. All right, Kayla's trying to get a, a shot on. She gets the shot. Oh, and they are going to go for a goal there, but Zinc gets the save. Oh, Kayla misses her touch there. Unfortunate. Oh! Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa! Nope. Oh, so close, though. Come on, keep this ball in the air, guys. You can do it. Uh, no, nope, it's not going to. Yeah, it's not going to happen. So, that unfortunately. Unfortunate. Man, such, such a, a yeah, such a close round there. Yeah, that honestly... Dish got like inches away from pushing that right into goal and evening up the score right there at the end. That was very, very awesome. Yeah, I mean, he was, it was a game of inches at that point. If he had yeah. just, if the ball had just taken a bounce a little bit more in his favor, we'd be looking at overtime right now. Man, that would be, that would be some funny stuff right there. Yeah, but now Faulkner, unfortunately, has run out of their, uh, what, sh what should we say, our uh, ability to have error. Because now they got to win all three of the next wins to, in order to win this matchup. Still completely doable. Uh, all you got to do is just take some take some dubs, you know? Oh, for sure. And uh, now that they've gotten uh, almost a feel for the other team, I feel like we're going to start doing a little bit better because we've kind of sussed out how they're playing. Well, now, one thing that you will notice if you were to review both of those two rounds, and I guess if you're watching at home, you could do that because you can rewind. Uh, you'll notice that uh, they almost always take an early lead. 
and then Faulkner's able to come back on them, yeah. which to me does indicate that they're playing better the longer that they play them. Yeah. Just like in a Smash Bros. match, you know, some people will tend to take an early stock loss, but then because they learn their opponent, they start to come back from that. Yep. So let's see if Faulkner can do and apply that same principle to this Rocket League match tonight. Hopefully that is the case and we can win the next three of them. All right, it looks like they're getting right into the next round. They're yep. round number three. Kickoff. All right. Tends to go towards the other side, uh, Kirkwood side. All right. And Abishu trying to get Ooh. that early first goal that they've been counting on this whole game. But Zink now going hard for the goal. Nero able to defend. Gets a good save. He's trying to play very uh, defensively. You can see him sticking to the wall, waiting for, the, for him to shoot. Yeah, it does seem like Nero plays much more defensively and opportunistically. Ooh. Oh, and, and Zink with a great score. All right, watch this. So, ball is just kind of there, and Zink's like, yep, I'll take that. Yeah. I love the popcorn finish, too. It is nice. And also makes me hungry. That is true. <laughs> I have a giant bag of beaver nuggets at my desk right now. Sorry, broadcasting. <laughs> Coach is mad at All right, Dish sending it up to the ceiling. Trying to get a setup. And it looks like it's got sent over to an empty field. Wait, here we go. Yes! Yeah! Dude, Zink going crazy tonight. Heck yeah, just finding those little uh, holes just in their in their defenses. I yeah, they're doing great now. Yeah, I think he was he intended that as a defensive play. I don't think he actually intended to go for the goal there, but once it got up in the air, he's like, okay, looks like I have a clear shot. Hey, when you have an open field, there's no point not to take a shot. Amen. Yeah. So now Faulkner with the lead and Kirkwood kind of back on their heels a little bit. Now there is a lot of game left to play, but having a two goal lead with four minutes left is, uh, you know, our first lead of the night. And so they, I know they want to hold on to it. Ooh. And Zink also gets the save, man. Zink's, Zink's put in the work. Been the MVP of this one so far, but then Dish, uh, well, Corn, Corn Pop, Pop and Dish kind of oh, so went up in there. Corn Pop. Yeah, I just noticed that. Corn Pop is actually, and I didn't notice that they had switched. All right. Ooh, Ooh. a lot of... Combination is happening right there. Yeah, th they they use the power of friendship on that one. Heck yeah! <laughs> Super just making a, sh uh, a, a layup. Layup. I'm thinking basketball right now. Good. I mean, yeah. similar principle. I think the audience knew what you meant. Super just trying to make a, uh, a return shot, but it kind of backfired. Uh, Zinc was trying to make it the same thing, and Corn Pop actually making it a successful oh, shot man. Back, on, back on their side. Uh, Abishu was able to knock it off, but, um, you know, that was a heck of a shot by Corn Pop. Oh, Ooh. very good setup by, uh, Nero. Uh, was that Nero? Yeah, that was Nero. Yep. So here, here comes Nero comes up, just pushes the, pushes it right in front of goal. And Abishu is right there Corn and tried saving it too. It got real close, but just not, not close enough. Yeah. Not quite close enough. Right, we're still up. Super Dish trying to go for the goal. All right. So the Faulkner Eagles hoping to hang on to the lead here and uh, maybe score some goals uh, to because, I mean, if you're at a 2-1, that's not a big enough lead that I think you play super defensively here. I think you still have Ooh. to have at least some aggression. Corn Pop oh. push, pushing that ball away. Key a little stunned there, lost control of the ball, got, yeah. got beat out by Corn Pop. Corn Pop's a bad dude. He is a bad dude. And Super Dish with the save. All right, looks like Key is trying to make a, uh, a return play. Uh-oh. Dish saving it. Yep. Flies to the rescue. Zinkaru setting it back up. Still in dangerous territory. I tell you what, though. I do not like the fact that this ball has been on our side of the field for a long time. Needs to be on Dish our territory. Shot. Here we go. And a demo. Ah, uh, oh, man. S smart demo by the Kirkwood team there but unfortunate that it, it winds up hurting us. And no. Key able to score. Yeah, slips it in just at the very top of the goal there. Still pretty early in the match, so anything could happen. Absolutely. They're, they're trying to make an upward uh, upward play here. Yeah, Super Dish there, and Corn Pop actually at the bottom of the goal, but not able to do anything because of where the ball was headed. Yep. All right. So now Faulkner needs to get a little bit more aggressive. They don't need to lose this lead. 100%. Or don't need to lose lose this tie now that they've lost the lead. Yeah. Dish making a, a very interesting shot on goal. Key's trying to make some air dribbles here. Zinkaru trying to tra take it back, but unfortunately misses. Corn Pop waiting back on goal. Pushes the ball away. Now going for a goal himself. Ooh, oh, nice steal by Zink. 
they need to spread back out so they're not so together. Yeah, they're too too oh. vulnerable here, and the demo shows why. Nero going to try to do something with it, but Dish smartly takes the ball out of their control, waiting for his teammates to respawn. Oh, wait, here we Ooh. go. Nope, Zinc ah. not able to get a good angle on it. Oh, it's set right there in front of the goals. We yeah, but there was just faster. nobody there. Corn Pop trying to just trying to get away from this guy, but he's right in his tailpipe. Yeah. Uh, Zinc just like, get off me and just demo yeah, the guy. I think Zinc was tired of getting demoed is what happened. That's facts. I would be too. He's a little salty about that. I That, that demo felt shot. personal. Abyss um, blocking. It might go into overtime here. Could happen. We still have 55 seconds though. It's still set up. Corn Pop going to kick that one away. Key going to try to come back here. Sinkaroo now spot. get... Yep. Air dribbling his way to goal. Oh! Yes. That was almost beautiful. <laughs> yeah, Super Dish, Super Dish hit the ball a little early, it looked like. Just a little bit. But if he hadn't, the other guy would have hit it, too. Ooh, right. that was scary. Right into the rim of the goal. Ooh. And Zink, Zink able to kick out. it out. 19 seconds left. Zink getting a demo. Corn How you going for it? Corn Pop with the save. Oh, this is a tight match, folks. Here we go. Come on, guys. Zink sending it back up. Oh, wait. Oh, man. Come on, guys. Keep He's it in the air. Keep there. it in the air. Oh, oh, we are in overtime for the win. Kirkwood wins this, and they take it home. Faulkner wins this, and they stay alive. Soar, Eagles, soar. Right in the, the Kirkwood goal, real close. Yeah, and now Corn Pop, the only defender left, but Super Dish actually takes possession. Ooh. Nero going for the goal here, kind of goes off center. Zinc pushes it away. Oh! oh! My word. Very close match. So Nero does the setup here. Abyss tries to get it, but off of that failed goal, they're able to seal the deal. Yeah. Man. Kirkwood with the win tonight, but very close, coming down oh, yeah. to the wire. Yeah, quite literally to the wire. They, they had it in overtime and everything. Just one more goal, and uh, Faulkner would have brought it back to a, uh, a lead and won that game. Yeah, I mean, and it's a shame because that was such a well-played third round. Yeah. And uh, had they been able to, you know, just do something and, and pull it out there, uh, we would have been able to hang on to go on to the next win. And I got to be honest, like just the way that they were playing and the way that they were starting to figure out the other team's game. I think if we had played all five rounds, there's a good chance we would have taken the next two just because Faulkner got progressively better each round. But unfortunately, they weren't able to get better fast enough. Yeah, that's just how it be sometimes, though. Mm hmm. Well, that's going to be it for us for this production of Rocket League Faulkner versus Kirkwood. Unfortunately, that one ends with a score of Kirkwood 3, Faulkner 0, but that scoreboard does not indicate how close a game that really was. Oh, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, you'd have to actually watch it to understand that. But that's going to be it for us for this evening. So we're just going to take a quick break here, and then we're going to be back with an interview and the post game show in just a moment. Preparing leaders for the river region and beyond, Faulkner University's Harris College of Business is distinctively different, focusing on ethics and character development in the classroom and building ethical foundations with our new Ethics Institute. Living the mission of Faulkner University to glorify God through education of the whole person, emphasizing integrity of character in a caring Christian environment where every individual matters every day. As a student at the Harris College of Business, I saw firsthand the mission of Faulkner University. My professors there not only taught me, but they also mentored me. They encouraged me, they cared for me, they instilled character and integrity into me. I mattered every day. That mission hasn't changed. Harris College of Business continues to provide its students with the tools they need to succeed in today's business world.
My name is Mike Carriage, and I teach computer science at Faulkner. Computer science at Faulkner is dramatically changing right now. It's an exciting time to be here. We're adding new students, which is exciting for all of us, but we're also growing in the content in which we deliver. We're adding new courses, we're adding new curriculums. It's a time that things seem to be really exciting and things seem to be really changing rapidly inside of our field. Computer science will always be a rapidly evolving field. Everything from artificial intelligence to cybersecurity will always drive us to excellence. But here at Falcon, we embrace that change as opposed to ignore it. Many of our students find their niche in the computer science world by coming here, and that's what we hope to, to really drive the love of computer science into our students here. I'm telling you, of any place you want to be to learn computer science, Faulkner is the place to be right now. For the Faulkner versus Kirkwood game, we had a uh, game tonight with Overwatch, and unfortunately, the Faulkner Eagles, because they were both the Eagles, but the Faulkner Eagles come out just a little bit short with a score of 3 nothing. but we have here the lieutenant of the Rocket League team. We got Zink here. How you doing, Zink? Doing all right. Yeah, that doing was a good. that was a tough game to lose, especially one that's so close like that and going into overtime there at the tail end. Like you, you got to know the emotions are running high at a moment like that. So, uh, with a game this close, you know, it's easy to beat yourself up about like if, if this little thing had gone our way or the ball had taken a more favorable bounce, we would have won it. But how do you how do you deal with that and keep yourself up throughout the game and keep your energy up? Um, it's really just just keeping your head in it. Um. It's just knowing that you're going to mess up, and once you mess up, just recover from it. Um, but I, we played fine tonight. It's just we were making small, still small, like errors, mistakes mm -hmm. on either rotations or jumping and going for the ball. Um, but, I mean, other, overall, I think we played all right tonight. No, I thought they all played really well, and I'll say this too. One of the things that uh, I wanted to bring up is that we did a lot of switching out. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, a lot being kind of a relative term. With the four of us, we had all four people play. And uh, one thing that was really interesting is that, uh, you know, even though we did have Corn Pop for our closest match, it looked like Kayla was playing like right at y'all's level too. And so that's really encouraging for her as somebody who came in as kind of a Rocket League novice to be able to rise all the way to, to be a really valuable member of the team. Yeah, um, when we did that, uh practice session with my buddy um i think what i think she really took away from what she was what he, or what he was talking about mm -hmm. um as far as saying i got it i'm going for this or uh she's been very talkative since then we all have um we're all communicating better um it's mm -hmm. just we just got to get that chemistry and play time together that's so, all it's going to take so comms just being a really instrumental part for y'all's improvement this semester yeah comms have improved a lot um i mean from even from the beginning of last season. Uh, right. Beginning of last season, we didn't talk much throughout the games. We really just focused on what we were doing. But now we're talking. We're saying, I'm going here. I'm third man. I'm first man. And But we're getting better with that. We just got to uh, still practice more and work on our gameplay. But we'll get there. Yeah, I did notice that your rotations have improved quite a bit, and you guys don't have nearly as many problems with double commits and that kind of thing. So uh, you can definitely see that sort of manifesting itself on the screen. Mm -hmm. uh, some of it, I mean, uh, I mean, we're like I said, we're just using comms more. Um, but the big thing that I'm glad to see more is we're not bumping each other as much because mm -hmm. um, we've had a lot of trouble in the past with just bumping into each other and it's throwing us out of the play and they get a free goal. Um, but we're doing better with that. We're watching where we're going, being more conservative uh, with our boost and just watching our rotations. Now, one thing I noticed is that Kirkwood did very early, and it still persisted throughout the match, but it did ease up a good bit, is that they started out with a very aggressive gameplay, which uh, involved an awful lot of just making wild shots on goal and uh, doing a lot of demos. And it seemed like they had to back off from that. Was that you know just partially because of what y'all were doing, uh, sort of punishing them for that? and then they kind of backed off a little bit um a little bit of both uh because we we uh we would stop on them when we would counter uh counter attack and kind of do the same thing there so we, we just weren't finding the demos or um or just uh hitting it exactly where we needed to mm -hmm. um but so they would get a touch hit bounce it off the wall and as soon as they get that touch that that person immediately goes for a demo they, they just kept that rotation going back and forth so somebody was always chasing somebody was always going 
and then when it's time to get on defense they they were there i mean yep um i mean they, they played good tonight so yeah obviously a talented team but i did want to talk about especially in that third match you had a pair of gorgeous looking aerial goals that had to feel pretty good yeah the double tap felt pretty good yeah for it, sure it, it was looking good especially that one that you were like just uh you got the save and then you saw oh there's no one in the backfield might as well get a goal here i guess <laughs> yeah just pop it up and take it over <laughs> why not all right well thank you so much for being with us here ian that is ian wright zinc as some have been come to call him. Uh, but yeah, he's the lieutenant for the Rocket League team. We appreciate him being with us here for this evening. So a couple things that we need to let you know before we wrap up here for tonight. We do have a couple of games coming up later in the week. First of all, tomorrow's game is going to be Overwatch 2. That's going to be uh, at 6 p.m. tomorrow. And so we'll have another great Overwatch game. Uh, you know, Overwatch started the season with a win. They've had a couple of back-to-back -back losses, so they've really been trying to tighten up the screws and get back uh, to playing at that high caliber level that they had been playing at in the first game. And because of that, they've tried a couple new dive comps, which have been really exciting. They've had to adjust for the new season. And so really looking forward to them trying to get a win tomorrow as well. And of course, we have another Rocket League game next week. So if you are a Rocket League fan, be back here. Same bat time, same bat channel next week. Uh, that's going to be on Monday, March the 4th at 6 p.m. And that's going to be against McMaster University. So it's going to be Eagles versus Marauders in our next matchup for the Rocket League team. And if you guys continue to improve the way you've been improving the past few weeks, I'm really looking forward to uh, maybe getting a win out against the Marauders as well. Oh, yeah, We'll come out and give it our best. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. So thank you so much, Ian, for being with us. A special thanks to everybody helping out with the broadcast this evening, to our producer, Liz Anderson, who did a great job keeping us on the air and making sure that everything flowed smoothly. Uh, thanks to my broadcast partner and color commentator, Josh Chauchi, who did a fantastic job of adding a little flavor and color to the gameplay tonight and of course i'm your head coach caleb Calquit saying so long from regitar usa high res arena and thank you so much for being with us this evening we'll be back again as i said tomorrow uh, at 6 p.m for that overwatch game until then stay the course friends the preceding broadcast was an official presentation of faulkner university it may not be redistributed without the express written consent of the faulkner university athletic department Regitar USA High Res Arena is sponsored by Regitar USA. The national anthem was performed by the Faulkner University Chorus. If you would like to learn more about the Faulkner Esports program, visit our official website at FaulknerEagles.com or follow us on Discord, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram for all the latest news and events. Thank you for watching and soar Eagles.